Jackie Velasquez first revealed her musical talent when she was in the cradle. By the age of 16, she had a hit album. Since then, she's sold more than 5 million albums worldwide. We first met Jackie Velasquez when she was just 16. Her voice stunned listeners. Her first album, Heavenly Place, went platinum. Since then, Jackie Velasquez has sold over 5 million albums and graced more than 50 magazine covers. Although she disappeared from the music scene, Jackie's back, stronger than ever, with a brand new album and a fresh outlook on life. Welcome back to the 700 Club. Jackie Velasquez, it's great to have you It's here. great to Long see you. Long time no see, as they you, say. You look the same. You're just <laughs> so more you. beautiful than ever, You're of fine. course. Listen, you started as a really little child exhibiting that you had musical talent. What was it that made your parents go, hmm? Oh, I think just probably uh, it, it kind of runs in the family, and they probably thought, really? oh, well, yeah, Jackie's probably going to sing. And <laughs> it, it, there was that moment when I was at the church and singing, oh, God reigns. I couldn't talk, <laughs> yeah. but I could sing. And uh, it was, yeah, just got totally a God-given gift and ministry. So at 16, you experienced having your first platinum album. 16 is kind of a hard time in life for most young people. How did you deal with that kind of success at that age? Well, I think because I was homeschooled from the time I was nine years old, um, I wasn't at school, so I wasn't around my peers. Uh -huh. So it was just my normal, even though it wasn't normal. Yes, um, but you didn't know it wasn't normal. <laughs> I didn't know it wasn't normal. And thankfully, I have a great mom who just always kind of kept me. Kept your head on straight. Yes. Yeah. She's fantastic, and I, I just adore her. She's actually taking care of my kids right now. I was just going to say, <laughs> speaking of mom, you're not just a musical star that we've known and loved for years, but you are a wife. You're a mother to two beautiful little boys. Aww. How do you find balance in your life with all of that? Uh, you know, I, I, it's hard sometimes. Um, uh, somebody told me once that being faithful to God is being faithful to all the things God has placed in your life. Yes, well, and that's true. I struggle. I, of course, am a normal mom. I have mommy guilt when I think about, oh, my mom's taking them to school today. I got to, I should be yeah. taking them to school. But um, God think of has it a as purpose. a grandmother moment. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly it. Because they're not wasting their time. They're with their right. grandma. Um, Making memories. <laughs> absolutely. And and I think for me, we we try to, um, if we go out on the weekends, uh, we're gone. You know, Saturday, Sunday, and then when we go on tour, we don't go for long extended mm -hmm. periods. We always have like a break, a week. Yeah. So I get to come home and then be with the kids, be total mom. I'm on the board for my kids' school. So hey, all those works. things I have to <laughs> I have to be there for the board meetings. Yeah. And how old are your boys? My boys are eight and nine years old. Oh, great age. Oh, yeah. super fun. Are they musical? Do they have the gift? <laughs> my oldest son, he is uh, he sings better than he can talk. Really? Yes, very much so. So you're kind of looking at him the same way your parents looked at you, having well, a, an aha moment. <laughs> Ooh, he can sing. He's got good pitch. He's yeah. got good timing. <laughs> we can work with this. <laughs> and the younger ones, he, he is very tactile. He, likes, he loves working with his hands. He's artistic. Mm -hmm. um, just And he sings very beautiful, too. So it's like... I don't know. I just want it's them to be part happy. part of the fun of having children, yeah. isn't it? Discovering the individual talents yes. in each one of them. And yes, but more than anything, just so that they're happy. Yeah. You know, whatever they choose to do. Now, if they want to become doctors, I'm not opposed to yeah. that. <laughs> so they might keep you in the style to which you've grown accustomed, yeah. right? <laughs> I want to talk about your new release because it's called Trust, and I'm sure there's something behind that. <laughs> oh, well... Trust. It's a very easy word to say and spell, yes. but very difficult thing to do, isn't it? Yes, it truly is. It, it's what made you spot. decide to make that the focus of this release? Uh, well, you know, my oldest son, who is nine, uh, uh, he, uh, he is on the spectrum. And mm -hmm. when I found that out, I, I struggled for a little while. I went through a, a mourning period sure. of some dreams that I'd had. You know, you pray for 10 fingers, 10 toes. Yes. I got them. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. They're perfect, amazing toes and fingers. Um, but you just want every success yeah. for your child. So I struggled for a little while and went through a mourning period with him, with that experience. And I said, okay, God, uh, I don't get it because mom and dad have built their whole ministry upon communication. I mean, mm -hmm. In ministry, you have to be able to communicate. Yes. And to see my son struggle with that is, is very difficult. Yeah. Um, 
But God has given him music. Yes, he has. He has given him music. And I just, for as a mom, I, I want, you, you want him to get married and yes. have kids. And, mm -hmm. and uh, but God showed me in only the way he could uh, to get back up on my feet mm -hmm. and uh, just go, okay, listen, yeah. this is what's cool. He said, I felt like he was showing me this. I love Zealand more than I love, more than you could ever love him. Yeah. And I see something in you, Jackie, that I can trust mm -hmm. that you're gonna take care of him. Yeah. Because God only gives special children to special people. Yeah. And I said, okay, you see something in me that I don't even see in myself. So you entrusted me with this amazing human being. Yeah. Now what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna fight. And do what I got to do. Take care of him. One day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time. Well, we, I know you have a movie that's coming out. Is it in September? It comes out September 29th. A okay. Question of Faith. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's really cool. It's a, well, the title actually says it all. A Question of Faith. A faith. Um, well, it's very easy to be a watered down faith thing. Yes. Um, but it takes sometimes the struggles and the tests to really push you to that next level and uh it challenges you for sure and it's three different stories that kind of come together and intertwine uh without even realizing the that it's one video <laughs> i know right <laughs> well i just want to say we are so excited to have you here today because we love your music we love the inspiration you bring us so i'm going to let you we're going to get to hear her sing today we're not letting her leave without doing that so i'm going to let you work your way over there Thank, Thank you. You are Thank so you kind. Who you Thank are you so much. All you do. Go ahead. You can move if okay. you want to. I'm going. And I'm, I'm going to tell them about your new CD. It's a two CD uh, release. It's called Trust. It's available wherever CDs are sold. We also have a social exclusive interview with Jackie. You can watch that by going to facebook.com slash 700. And remember the movie she mentioned, her new movie, A Question of Faith, opens in theaters in this country on September 29th.